Now, what about empty, right? I mean, this, you know, you can really, you, you can program this out really depending on what you're getting and who you want to stop, right? In this picture, the running back happens to be to the defense's right and, and to our right. And they like to run the, the power read. So we told him, we told him to go opposite the running back. We told him to go opposite the running back, but he's a, but he's a quarterback player, right? We're, we're wanting to force, we're run, we're wanting to force them to hand this, to hand this ball off. Right. We've, we've, we've gone into the, this uh, particular call saying, Hey, we want our Leo to be a quarterback player. Okay. Well, what's the best place to put them in empty? Right. Cause really anything could happen. Well, you got to go with the tendencies in here. You're saying, okay, it's, they, they've been a, a power read or a jet, a jet team. So let's put him away from the running, but he's going to, he's quarterback the whole way. Where you line him up, though, is really based on um, what you're expecting. And here you can see he's able to he's able to cause a, a fumble or a mishandle by the quarterback. Force the give, right on the power read. That's because. The quarterback was a big threat. So we forced to give, and then we're able to, have, you know, we, we are able to actually play offense on defense against this play because we're able to direct what happens on what happens on the field. But the placing of the this Leo, the number 40 here, to me becomes a lot easier, right, than having um your linebackers make calls based on motions uh, to, to the defensive lineman. You know, moving one guy and putting putting him in place to make the play, and what whether it was you know take the take the jet guy or take the quarterback, we're putting it, him in place to to get it done. Okay, the next one, um, you know, you're faced with a situation where the quarterback is the guy. You know, the quarterback is the quarterback is the one that um, you want to stop, right? First, uh, so here, you know, you, you're bringing him off the edge to the back in this case, but he's he's responsible for the quarterback. He knows who he has. He, he's trying to keep it as tight as he can to the mess charge. But he has the quarterback in this case, so you're going to force the uh, you're going to force the handoff. You can see 94 nice and wide out there. He's um, got a good angle, just trying to attack the mesh. Um, in both cases, right, whether he's got the dive or the quarterback, you want him to attack the mesh. You want to make them look the same as much as possible, um, and he knows, he knows who he has. Same thing here, right? Um, there are times, like in this case, where you may send him to the tight end. You know, if you're facing a um, max protection team, you know, an RPO team that keeps the tight end in, this is a good deal to, to just let that guy go to the tight end side and match up one-on-one uh, -on -one against the tight end if he's trying to block him. And he's able to get off the ball, right? I mean, if you're in this mode, you would certainly want him to be a speed player, a, a quarterback player against his own read, not a bend player, not a, not a dive player, right? If you're, if you're thinking max protection, you're thinking you want that matchup against the tight end, then let him rush. In order to let him rush, to me, you have to make him a quarterback player against his own read. So here you can see he creates a lot of problems. 